We wouldn't be Americans if it wasn't for our military and our veterans. These people have given up a lot for us to have our freedom in the United States. They need support, they need help. So many people do not realize actually what they go through. It's very sad. They, they just want to feel like they belong. Dave has as much respect for veterans as anybody else I've ever met. And he wants to help them every which way he turns, he wants to help them. I think Dave felt that there was a need to support our veterans a lot due to the history of um, my dad. His uh, father-in-law was a Vietnam veteran. Not everybody got treated the same way back then. When we come home, you know, it's like, get your uniform off because you don't want people to know that, because it, it was awful. Dealing as a child of a Vietnam vet is, I don't know if I can do this. It, it wasn't good when we come home, and it took a long, long time, and it took people like Dave to have turned that around. And Dave wants everybody that comes back now to feel welcomed. Uh, when I first met Dave, uh, it was at a Fishing for Freedom volunteers meeting. Fishing for Freedom is something that uh, Dave and, and some other people put together. They pair up veterans with boaters, and sometimes the boaters are also veterans, but they take them out for a day of fishing. I mean, who doesn't like fishing? Just to show a lot of support. Just to be able to give them a moment in time of being normal. The veterans that attend the Fishing for Freedom event are from several states. Everywhere, all over. There's no cost uh, uh, transferred over to a veteran. Oh, they don't cost them nothing. The veterans, everything is free for them. The other event that Dave works with is the Mid-America Military Salute. Um, he's actually the founder of it. It's basically a day to give to veterans to honor them and their families to thank veterans for their service. We were able to get bands to perform. We had the, the Vietnam Wall. We had about 3,000 people show up to it, which was great. We tried to get all the vets out at no cost, all free. Him and his team raised all the money to make it that way. It's the same old story. That's what he wants to do to all veterans is help them out. When WGEM News found out one of our veterans had his wheelchair ramp stolen, we put the word out, and before our newscast ended, we were getting responses from the community. Well, I watched the story on WGEM. And that's when Dave Ulrich and other volunteers sprang into action, building a new ramp for Roger Rupp and his wife, Bonnie. This poor man lost his ramp, and it was the only way in and out of his house. It was on the news, and the next day, Dave was on Facebook. I mean, he was mad, and I don't blame him. It was a horrible, horrible thing. I think Dave done it because it's in his heart to help the veterans. You know, myself being a veteran, that little gesture can mean a lot. It's just so easy to fall on that bad side, and uh, and it's just hard to get out of that. And, and, and there's so many veterans that commit suicide and stuff that I, I think everybody, if they can, should get involved somewhere or another. Know what's going on in your community, um, to take part on some of the events. That's a big thing. Just come to the events. Show them that you care about them. He's never never stopped, never faltered. I know personally that he is, is dedicated countless of hours. First and foremost, he's unselfish. He's outstanding. There are many veterans that tell Dave, thank you for your service. David was never a veteran. I'd just like to tell Dave thank, thank you for thanking me. It, it means a lot. The word thank you some, to some people don't mean a lot, but me saying it to him does. You're making a big difference for a lot of people. If it wasn't for him and uh, other people like him, being a veteran wouldn't be as meaningful. Showing our kids how to be a caring and giving person. I don't think he realizes. Sorry. 
some of the stuff that he does and how much it means to us as veterans. You know, it gives more meaning when somebody's there to show it back that it wasn't for nothing. <laughs>